let's forget the bustle and contemplate the sleepy canal. There's the first. After all, canals are simply artificial waterways. And the Dutch made them really useful by inventing a system of locks. Locks are nothing more than liquid lifts or stairs for barges. And our incorrigible cartoonist, Joe Noble, shows in these diagrams how they work. The gates always open upstream, the natural flow of the water keeping them shut. The lock gates cannot be opened until the water level, and therefore the pressure of water is made equal by means of a small sluice. In this way, the barge is moved smoothly, safely and cheaply to a different level by two manpower. Like most effective methods, this one is simplicity itself. The barge sinks with the water level as the lock empties and rises as the lock fills. A little slow, perhaps, but it does give the bargee time to get everything off his chest. Now let's take a peep at one of the world's greatest artificial waterways, the Suez. Before the Suez Canal was cut in 1869, the route to India and Australia was a long and tedious one. The dotted line shows the old route, and you'll notice the great distance saved by the canal. In 1854, De Lesseps, here he is, planned a canal from Tine to Suez. The Delesip scheme was eventually modified to this, in order to utilize the existing lakes. The Suez saves 5,000 miles in journeys from Europe to the east. Already, canals serve a very useful purpose, but with road traffic getting worse every day, they may yet come into their own. Travellers may find it quicker to go by canal, and Jones will be rushing up to town by the 815 Barge Express. You're very late. I'm very sorry, sir, but I missed the barge, and I had to go back home for me water wings. There's something to be said for taking plenty of water with it. <laughs> 